Hey there everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Anna and I'm here to do another acrylic pouring video for you today. So today I'm doing another chameleon cell painting, which is a really cool technique. It's a great way to be able to manipulate cells, especially really beautiful, vibrant cells. Um, it's using silicone to make the cells, but I'm not mixing the silicone oil into the colors. The silicone oil gets added in later with a toothpick. Um, so my colors are all mixed with Floetrol and water. They're mixed to sort of a medium thin consistency. So I've got black um, and I've got white, which is a mix. I had a couple different cups of white, so it might be partly house paint, partly sergeant or something else. So it's, that's actually, that one needs more water. So they're mixed medium thin, which is thicker than a Dutch pour. Um, it's about the consistency that you would want for a typical swipe. It's a little thinner than a flip cup or something where you really want your colors to hold their shape. Okay, that's better. You see that? It flows nicely. It doesn't fall right back into the cup. You know, it leaves a, just a little bit of a mound. So I've got white, I have metallic gold, yellow, this lovely pale green, uh, metallic blue, and cerulean blue. And I'll show you that paint consistency again. Medium thin. Okay, so the theme for this painting, I'm calling it Hope Out of Darkness, because today's painting, I wanted to do something that kind of shares the heart of parents whose children are going through hard medical stuff. So it might be a child with a genetic condition, or with long COVID that's got unexplained symptoms, you're a parent, you have your child, you love your child, and then all of a sudden something is different, something has changed, and your child has a rare condition or an unexplained condition, and it's just really hard. So this painting is called Hope Out of Darkness, and I've got a lot of black because when, when that news hits, it can feel like your, your light goes out. And and it just turns into this big muddle of question marks and you don't know what's going to happen. So just on a personal note, my son was born with a rare genetic condition, non-life-threatening, but something that for the first four years of his life we were very... we had to go to the doctor a lot. It was filled with question marks. It was... we didn't know what we were doing. Every appointment it seemed like we were having to change our minds and it was so... so hard. And I have other friends whose children are going through things like this, and I wanted to create a painting that that sort of showed that darkness and that muddle, but also that showed brightness and life and light and hope coming out of that darkness, just as a way to remind you hope can still come. There can still be joy in your life. So that's what this painting is about, and now it's time to get started laying down the colors. So this is going to be the bottom edge. I want I want black all all the way around the bottom and the sides. So then my colors here, I have these beautiful blue, blues, green, yellow, white, and gold. And I want to layer those somewhat diagonally this way in thin strips all the way going up. So I'm going to start with kind of a big layer of this metallic blue. Thank you. 
The reason I do the stripes in diagonals is so that as the chameleon cells pop up through, through the color that's been swiped across, the cells won't look exactly the same all going up. There will be sort of texture to it. Uh, now I'll do some gold. Not three-dimensional texture, but like it won't look straight linear. There will be more interest to how the colors come up in those cells. switch up the layers here and do white next to the green here. And I'll mix up my blues also since I have the gold finishing that one layer. Do the cerulean blue first. filling in all the little holes so I've got a nice smooth full surface all the way across and then I'm just going to put a little bit of black here on the back edge even though as I swipe the paint is going to run over the back edge having the back edge covered ahead of time will help And I want the edges of the painting to be primarily black with the color popping up in the middle. All right, so I've got my colors layered. I'm going to add a bit more black down here just so that there's plenty and then I'm going to use this piece of plastic which is just a laminator sheet, a plain laminator sheet with no paper inside of it. And I'm going to use that to swipe. Touch it in gently. And then just pull back really slowly. That swipe is actually really beautiful. I was expecting it to look like this big muddy mess with all the colors blending together. And it's actually really just subtle. It does look kind of muddy. It does look kind of unpredictable, like you don't know what's, what's coming, but it's very pretty. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of color here to the back end. Actually, I'm going to pick it up and tilt it just a little bit to get the paint stretched here over the back. Okay, there's a couple of places that I have to tweak before I start adding the chameleon cells. And one of them is this corner right up here. So I'm just grabbing some extra paint that's dripped down. Oh, it's not the right color. Let me try blowing it with a straw. See, so I have to get the edges looking right before I start doing stuff here. Um.
So this is looking really cool. I'm going to give it a torch because as you can see the metallic blue and the metallic gold and the white, which I guess is the house paint, it has made some cells just on its own. And those are cool. And I want to get up any more of those before I start adding silicone cells. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, um... I'm going to flip this around, which means it's going to be upside down for you, I'm sorry, but I have to look at it the right way as I'm adding these cells. So I've got just a little plastic lid, and I'm going to add just a little bit of silicone oil to it, just a few drops, and then I'm going to dip the toothpick into the silicone oil and then just poke it into the paint and make I want it to look almost like plants you know like streams of bubbles rising which we kind of have here already I just want to make some bigger ones This is so cool. The way the colors have blended and then the way it transitions from the blues into the green and the gold and oh, it's like this perfect underwater flower. I'm gonna start another one over on this side. Sometimes the cells take a while to grow and you can kind of forget, wait, where was I? So I'm just going to wait for them to kind of finish. Okay, so I've got the two here on the sides are kind of branching, which I love. I want to add one more in the middle that's not branching as much, just filling in that center. Man, 
This is so pretty. It's so underwater-like. And I love that even though this is a really pretty color that it all blended to make, it is that mixed kind of uncertain color. And then out of that we have these pots and pops of white and blue and gold and things that are coming through and it's like there is still hope even in this mess. There is hope even in this darkness. So I love this. I'm just going to wait a little longer while the cells grow and see if there's anything else that I need to do. But apart from touching up corners once it's dry, I think I'm really, really happy with this. Okay, I think I've waited long enough and the cells have pretty much finished growing and it is looking absolutely spectacular. So I'm finished with it. Let me give you a close up. All right, so here it is. These cells are really cool. I love using the chameleon cell uh, technique to be able to place your cells exactly where you want them. So I love how it starts here in the darkness. And it's like these bright spots of hope are coming out of the darkness and leading you and your child through the muddiness of life to grow these beautiful flowers of hope and love in your life with your child and their special needs and their special situation and condition. So I hope this painting encourages you, especially if you are in a similar situation with your child or with a loved one. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you'll come back to my channel and watch some of my other techniques that I show you, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.